last night we try to tell you from the second from the last part of the admonition that that God hmm, God has empowered his people hallelujah and no child of God must give up nor let up nor let anybody overpower you or overshadow you because God has empowered his people and as the preacher was saying that God says only if it was possible could they deceive the elect ooh, ooh, ooh. so do not bow because it's impossible to get you come on somebody but that doesn't take away you giving up folks give up just before they complete the job are you there as you said last night before they can win you the rapture will sound i said the rapture listen let nobody when i was going to bible school or whatever they had all kind of false doctrine and thank god i stood for the right one yeah i didn't know a lot i didn't know a lot but i stood for the did you know that you can don't know a lot and still be right i didn't know a lot but one of the one of the doctrine one of the teaching had a way out in it it's called the rapture are you listening are you listening listen don't try to teach without a rapture because there are some things cannot be explained without a rapture the rapture is the escape are you there the rapture is the answer that you cannot explain that's why the bible said the gospel is mysterious are you there so if you try to explain it with all of man's ability mathematics science and and, and whatever you can't get it come on but if you can connect the fact that if it get too hard god gonna take you out <laughs> you know like that part some folks don't want the rapture <laughs> Some folks don't want to stay here forever. But don't worry. If you're taken in the rapture, God's going to bring you back here to inherit the earth. God knows your secret. You're not saying amen. I said, God knows your secret. Come on, He's going to take you out in time, but He's going to bring you back. Come on, somebody. Somebody praise His name. So last night we were, we were telling you about the power to speak, the power on your tongue come on somebody somebody said power tongue somebody said power tongue well i want for about five minutes to tell about power time power timing this is where powerful people miss their way five powerful virgins were too late for christ oh, right now in the spirit i'm hearing something in the spirit right now there's somebody planning to get it later. Yes, somebody said, no, no, I'm, I'm going to do it. I, I see that it is so. I see that it's the right thing. I kind of wondered in the past, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. I kind of wondered in the past, you know, I love what's happening, but I kind of wondered. I, I wasn't so sure, but I can see it. Yes, it is real. It's the real thing. My God is so powerful. It's so powerful. So I'm going to do it. Well, listen. God speak of a late gathering. Come on, somebody. When God gave the revelation of gather the people, one of the revelations said there'll be a, a late magnifying. There'll be a time when our eyes will get open, but the timing will be wrong. Come on, somebody. Lot was late to leave Sodom. My God, my God. And the Bible says Lot was a man of holiness. Uh, but because he was late, he couldn't handle what came later. He didn't get me. He didn't get me. Glory to God. So God wants a church, and especially in a certain culture church, certain race church struggle with time timing and god wants us to employ the power of timing 
being on time remember the bible said that the the prophet of god outrun the king he arrived before the king listen there are some things gonna happen right now and we are gonna win them by being ahead of them we're gonna be win them come on by arriving before them some of us accustomed to plant in one church every three months those days are over come on somebody lord of god yeah, we're gonna plant like a hundred one time oh, god of mercy here yeah. so you know what that mean you need to get a mirror and look in it to see the next pastor <laughs> you didn't get me you didn't get me you didn't get me you, you need to buy a mirror to see the next pastor because because of the time god is ready for a church planting revolution and it's happening right there now in in in, in florida three church one time being planted and at the same time we are ready for uh, 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 what what's maryland baltimore and 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 north carolina charlotte north carolina and delaware uh, and south carolina and guess what a man of god came down to florida and prophesied every state in the country come on and they begin to call out the people in the church and begin to send them to texas and send them to oklahoma it is the timing it's not far away church not gonna be long but look at the good people who are dying so many in the past two weeks good people passed i mean we have to be very careful what we can do we got to do it very quickly even today another colleague from 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 another country not have a but a different ministry but we have worked together in the past when we went to guyana my god seven years ago glory to god and released the vision for world revival and all those pastors came together and begin to preach you look you see some dying just since last week this week another colleague in another church body the wife died then this one died and that died come on for us not to move quickly is for us to be full of ourselves come on it's for us to conclude we have a lot of time no we are you see when the bible said tomorrow is promised to no man we only speak it to sinners no it's to christian too tomorrow is not promised come on somebody glory to god you can you can beseech god to lengthen your days based on based on the purpose you carry based upon the work come on somebody glory to god he said i shall not die come on somebody can help me here god Come on, but what? Declare the works of the Lord. So when it comes to timing, if you want to get a hold of, of God's timing, we've got to preach. We've got to plan church. We've got to do things fast. Come on, somebody. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Somebody say timing. And the Bible says in Jeremiah 8, and verse 7, 8, 9, somewhere there, he said, A stalk in heaven knew it is appointed time, but men do not the crane and the swallow. Come on, somebody, know the appointed time, but men do not know their time. God, God says in, 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 in Psalm 119, verse 60, I made haste and delayed not. To keep thy commandments it's got to be quick church those old time days amen we say next week do not delay what should be done today for tomorrow come on somebody glory to god i don't think next week i'm saying i say tomorrow glory to god glory to god glory to god someone said the power timing someone said power timing the bible says in 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 luke 12 56 he say he hypocrites ye can discern the face of the sky and the earth but how is it ye do not discern this time Ooh. 
So bad. One pandemic came on, on the earth and everything changed. Everything changed. You go in the different cities in America and you see some big hotels. Empty. Empty. Even though Orlando is like the, the most hip city in, in, in America, I won't tell you because I've been there. But 99% of the hotels are empty. Not even one car. Nothing. Ghost towns. They never knew it would happen. They weren't ready for it. Churches wasn't ready for COVID. Because we talk together all the time. And almost everything we plan in the church, when are you going to have it next year? Some folks, I'm going to get married, Bishop. When are you going to get married next year? Hey! For marriage is on your mind, you have six months by the Holy Ghost. Not to have a Sami church. Come on, somebody. Timing. Timing. Power timing. Come on, somebody. Yes. And God has released this upon you. Glory to God. In Genesis 19, 15 to 22, he said, And when the morning arose, then the angel hastened Lot, saying, Arise, take thy two daughters which are here, lest thou be consumed in the iniquity of the city. Here it is. Yes, Escape thither, for I cannot do anything till thou hast been gone thither. The scripture says, put in the sickle, for the harvest is ripe. Come get you down, for the press is full. The fat overflow, for their wickedness is great. Jeremiah 8 and verse 20, the harvest is past. It's one of the most dreadful versions I've seen in the Bible. The summer is ended and we are not saved. Yes, church, let's get a hold of the timing. That's where the church has been weak. We have been strong in fasting, pretty much. Strong in prayer, strong in tongues, even in prophecy. But there's a weak point. Timing, timing, speed, momentum. Pass. We got to go beyond addition and get to multiplication. Come on, somebody. Go beyond arithmetic. Come on. You have three kind of mathematics. Arithmetic, geometry, what's the other one again? Algebra. Two times X equal this. Or X to the 10 power. Forget arithmetic in church. Forget geometry. Come on, John. And get to algebra. God of mercy here. Come on, somebody. Glory to God. Go beyond the normal thinking. Tradition of men. The old way. The whole timing. Those days are over. Listen to me, church. You're going to be disappointed. I do believe God raised up so much preachers in one church. Why? Why? Come on, somebody. Because you're all leaders of churches. I'm sorry. One day you'll get it. One stand up on the feet, everybody. One day you'll get it. I'm not forcing you to get it now. Don't worry yourself. One day you'll get it. Come on. I've looked at it. I said, My God. God, what are we going to do? Everybody preach. You're all pastors. God is about to, and then the Lord begin to reveal, you see, the world is not just looking for worldwide vision day. The world is not just looking for the movement. Listen to me, let me, let me tell you this. The Lord revealed that even after our generation have passed, huh? the harvest army will be in every, every part of the earth. They said there's going to be such demand, there's going to be such grasp, Holy Ghost, help me here, somebody. 
they're going to understand why David Wilkinson prophesied that an underground army will arise. They're going to understand why the Bible says in Ezekiel 37, he said they stood upon their feet an exceeding great army. They're going to understand why the great singers are singing that there's an army rising up. Come on. Come on. They don't sing that for nothing. But like when Jesus went into the synagogue and they took the book and began to read. And when he was finished, he said, you are looking at the man. My God of mercy, glory to God. There are many, it won't be long when they're going to look and say, I for truth. My God, I, I didn't like them. I didn't, uh, come on somebody. I didn't like what they did. What they did, uh, their standard was too high. My God, they were too holy, holy. They were full of themselves. But I for truth, my God, I for sure. God gonna give them the weakness. So church, church, know that we have the time using. Do some crazy things, church people. Do like our brother who heard when we called for somebody to go to Brazil. And he thought he was not qualified. He thought if he told us that he's going, we would say we, we didn't mean you. Come on, somebody. And he went off to Brazil. And I've planted so many churches. Today is an overseer. My God, my God, my God, my God, my God. Church, get it. Do it now. That, that little clarity coming in before your eyes. Don't wait. Don't wait. Do it now. Do something crazy. Go take up a church and pastor. Go to Connecticut. Come on, somebody. And call us from there Sunday morning. Come on and say, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Apostle, I'm not there. Come on, but I'm trying to plant a church. I'm at a street corner because it's late. Come on, somebody. We ain't got the luxury. Ah, for three years of training, I'm on this corner, Apostle. Ah, and there's no more time. I don't want them to cry out that this summer is ended. But we are not saved. Many eyes have been cleared and they were late to respond. If you're ready to respond to God's time, come to the altar. If you're ready to respond to God's time, come to the altar. I can't say it no other way. But it's God's empowered timing. Can I tell you again? Any time it can't work, do it. I couldn't be here tonight. Ask my wife, I could not be here tonight. <laughs> I could not be here tonight. I could not. But am I not here? I said, no devil gonna stop me. If I if I arrive 10 15, come on, I'm I'm gonna get there. I said, come on, get me. I'm gonna come. And after I said, come on, get me. Come on, I could ring myself out of that which hinder me. <laughs> Oh, somebody. Yes. Come on. It's God. It's not just God's empowered speech and prophecy and speaking and repelling and rebuking. Come on, somebody. But it's God's empowered timing. Woo. Those who have passed. What if they had known? Come on, some would win like 50,000 people. In only a few, are you there? What if, what if? Come on, somebody. Are you gonna go and don't get it done? Are you gonna go and don't get it done? That is a, is a mystery. It's a mystery. The young die, the old die. It's mysterious. Do it now. We ain't got the luxury we want. I know that you're here. I'm saying this to somebody. Know that your head getting a little more clearer. You are more responsible. You are more obligated. You're going to be given account to the fact that your head is clear. But hear you tomorrow. No, it's tonight. Pray, everybody. Receive this power. This empowered timing. Shut up, Abaka, Abaka. 
Receive it. Receive it. Talk to the Lord. Is that just empowered preaching and, and prophesying and, and come on, repelling and, and rebuking? It's empowered timing. Come on, we're gonna whip him with our timing. Oh my God, my come on, talk to him. Talk to him. Talk to him. It's all a part of it. That's why you don't understand so well. Because you have understood the timing. Shiva! Talk to him, talk to him, talk to him, talk to him. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. Shiga Bahataka, go and talk to him. Say, Lord, help me, Lord. Help me to get a hold oh, of the supernatural, the providential timing of, of your hand in my life. unusual way that we hardly hear about supernatural timing empowered timing 